Too many cables can cause too many problems. That's why the Wireless Distribution System, or WDS, is such a helping hand. WDS allows users the ability to see multiple WAP devices as if there was only one. This makes it easy for client roaming as well as managing multiple wireless local area networks, all without those pesky cables. In this edition of Tech Talks, we'll show you how to set up a wireless bridge on a WAP 125. Next. We can configure up to four devices in WDS, but for today's example, we'll be configuring two WAP 125s. Before we start things off, note that all Cisco WAP devices partaking in a WDS link must be the same product ID. This also means you cannot use a WAP device from one country with a WAP device from a different country. We can head to Radio under the Wireless tab to check our settings. Our WAP devices must also be using the same band of spectrum. You cannot have one device only using 2.4 GHz, while the other devices use 5.0. We need all WAP devices to have the same band selection as well. So for this example, we'll select 20 MHz channel width. Finally, we'll click Apply to save those changes. For good measure, make sure you double check that both devices have the same configuration. While we're in this configuration, we'll select System Configuration and then the Security option. Here, we'll scroll down to the bottom to make sure that Rogue AP Detection is selected for Radio 1. We'll click Apply. Moving forward, we'll now shift to the wireless bridge. Here, we can choose which WDS port we'd like to use. For this example, we'll select WDS0. Next, we'll select the port and click Edit. We can now enable the port and choose its settings. For the radio, we will choose 2.4 GHz. Next, we'll click on the arrow under Remote MAC Address. This will show us our devices since we enabled Rogue AP earlier. We can discover the device by identifying the SSID and MAC address. Here, we found our second device and we'll add it. Next, we have the option to choose our encryption. We will choose WPA Personal for this example. If we click the I under Encryption, we can make sure our WDS ID and key matches on both WAP devices. We'll click Apply. Great! We've now finished configuring our first device. Again, we must be sure that all WDS settings are the same when configuring the next device. We can check the status of the WDS by going to the Monitor tab and selecting Wireless. If we scroll to our WDS port, it should read up if it's been configured. That's what we like to see. And that's all we need to know about setting up a wireless bridge on the WAP 125. We'll see you next time for another edition of Tech Talks.